Right, basically, if you just had a hardware fault on your Mac, then you're going to want to recover your iTunes library from that hard drive, providing the hard drive isn't broken. So basically, what you're going to do, you say you haven't got anything in your iTunes library, I obviously have here, so I'm going to quit. On your keyboard, you've got the Alt key, or Option if you're in America, it's the one next to Command, or Apple if you're old. Then click on iTunes while holding that down. Keep it held, and it'll ask you to choose your library. You basically, click Choose Library, the blue one, and in the folder is going to be a little file called something like iTunes library.itl or on older ones iTunes library.lib or library.lib. Basically click on that and click choose and your library will pop up. You won't need to re-import anything and it should all work fine. Quit iTunes again and I'll show you that one more time. Hold down your alt key or option key, keep it held down, choose your library and Here's going back to my original library. That was one I created earlier. Choose open, and there we go. It's your iTunes library. You can also get it off a server, or say you've got a USB connected hard drive. Click on any kind of shared drive. This is just from a hard drive attached to my airport from an old computer. Wait for it to load. It's on this file, and then keep going. I made an iTunes 2 folder just so it's not full of all sorts of music that I can probably get in trouble for. iTunes once again, option, there we go, choose library, and select your shared drive, select where it's located. Oh, where is it? No, there we go. And there we go, iTunes library.itl, click choose, and would you look at that? So now I'm going to take a quick look at this track using right click get info or just command i or apple i if you're on an old school mac then this is a great way of finding out where your actual library is located so i'm going to go back to my original library now so i'm going to quit itunes yet again hover down to my dock you can even do it from your applications hold down your alt or option key choose library go into music usually or wherever you've stored it select it iTunes library.itl or library.itl or iTunes library.lib. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, if you've got any comments or any suggestions, or if you want me to do a guide on anything else or anything in particular, then please let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know how I'm doing. Bye. Thank you.